So one thing we all forget to do as musicians and artists and just people in general is to take a break from all the work. We all need to take a bit of time to get some inspiration and to get some exercise in. So that's what I'm going to do today. Plus, I'm going to tell you 10 things about Venice you probably didn't know. <laughs> Emma Thompson has a home in Venice. Funnily enough, we bumped into her walking down the street. As you can see clearly, everything is on the water. So the police just went by and the building behind us is where the Venetians build their gondolas and also to get the gondolas repaired. The word ghetto comes from the ghetto here in Venice, which was the world's first ghetto. So yeah, this neighborhood is the first ghetto in the world, in Venice. from the world's first pawn shop, the Banco Rosso. And also, Rosso meaning red, you got a red receipt. Look at the name. Where the saying, in the red comes from. Now, what town wouldn't be a town without a Banksy? The migrant child, it's called. The word ciao, meaning hello in Italian, comes from the reverential greeting, se ciao, which means I am your slave. Tourism contributes 2.3 billion euros to Venice's economy. In 2021, Venice was the second most visited town in Italy with approximately 5.7 million overnight stays. There are a total of 7,275 Airbnb listings in Venice. During the peak season, there can be up to 110,000 tourists visiting historical Venice per day, far exceeding the 55,000 residents that live here. The local Venetians are protesting the fact that there are so many tourists here in Venice. It's unbelievable, actually. There are so many people here. It's incredible. I've been here before and I've never realized how bad it was. There are so many people here. It's incredibly hard for locals even to get a job, find a place to live completely because of the tourists that are here. And the town is pretty much overrun and locals can't afford a house. Locals can't afford anything here. Amazing. Sunglasses were created in Venice on the island of Murano, and funnily enough, they protected from UV radiation even back in the day. Fifteen islands that Venice is built upon and 150 canals. There are only four bridges over the Grand Canal in Venice. How much did we pay yesterday for the sprint? Fifteen. It's fourteen now. What? Cheap. If 
coffee was introduced from Egypt to Europe through Venice. The first Bottega di Café was here in Venice in the 1700s. The oldest café in Venice is the Café Florian, which is in the Piazza San Marco. It isn't the oldest café in the world, though. That goes to Paris and the Café La Procope. The word arsenal comes from the shipyards here in Venice. There's very little crime in Venice. It is actually one of the safest cities in all of Europe. This is the restaurant where they ate at in the movie Don't Look Now. There are rats in Venice, but you rarely ever see them. One thing I will say is that Venice is completely filled with tourists. To really get a feel for Venice and its surroundings, the best thing to do is to go off the beaten path, get away from Piazza San Marco, get yourself lost in the little roads and cross canals and get out of the center of town. That is absolutely the best way to see Venice. You'll find that the restaurants are, and shops are a bit cheaper outside the downtown core. Venice is super easy to get to from anywhere in Europe. There are a couple of airports that Ryanair flies into almost daily. And while there are no cars in Venice, you can easily get a bus or train from either airport, Treviso or Marco Polo to town. From Treviso, the bus is 22 euros return. From Marco Polo, there are also water taxis that'll bring you straight across from the airport. A little bit there, cheap. Venice. Great time. Thank you.